Coffee Break Swedish Season 1, Episode 25. Hej och välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Mark. Och jag heter Anna. Hur mår du, Anna? Jag mår bra, Mark. Hur mår du? Ja, ja jag mår bra. You sound as if you're particularly happy today. Well, I, I just had my... Uh, jag är glad idag. Jag har, I just had my coffee. I'm, 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 the sun is shining. I'm, I'm fine. Så so, uh, du har en kaffe? Mm-hmm. Och uh, solen skiner? Jättebra! It seems like you have practiced your Swedish. <laughs> yeah, uh, jag har också en, uh, let me see if I can throw in an adjective, um, en uh, stor kaffe. Ja, bra! I've got a big coffee. Och jag har en god kaffe. Ja, oh, jättebra. Okay, well we're back with another episode of Coffee Break Swedish, giving me the chance to practice my Swedish and that you the chance to learn along with me. Um, and Hanna, he's here of course with all the answers as our expert. Uh, today we're talking about a slightly different topic because we're going to be talking about likes and dislikes, something else that is really useful to help you make conversation with native speakers of Swedish. So, Hannah, um, uh, anything in particular that's coming up in this lesson? So, we're going to talk about how we can like something like a thing. And we're also going to talk about how to like, uh, how, how we say that we like an activity. And I think that is the difficult thing with this lesson. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, we'll be able to talk about the things that we like and also the the activities that we like doing. And again, a perfect opportunity to, to uh, talk about hobbies, pastimes and so on with your new Swedish-speaking friends. Ska vi börja? Ja, låt oss börja. Okay, Hannah, so where do you want to start today? I thought we would start with uh, the simple question, what do you like? So what would that be? Vad tycker du om? Let's hear that again. Vad tycker du om? Vad tycker du om? And I guess the complicated thing here is that we have to like in Swedish is the verb tycker om. So it's a verb with two words in it. Uh -huh. So tycker. What does tycker mean on its own? So tycker in itself is is a little bit of a is is a difficult verb and it means that you have an opinion or you what you think right and om is that about yeah so that is a preposition and it means about around okay so va tycker du om is that literally like saying what think you about I guess so. Yeah, I never thought about it in the literacy sense. I always try to say to my students, to just ignore that is very similar to ticker and see it as a verb on its own and just translate it to like. Okay, that we, we, we'll do that then. Okay, <laughs> so um, uh, what what do you have a what do you have an opinion about? I guess you have an opinion about something that you like, but let's disassociate that and think of ticker om as to like. Okay, so can I ask you some things that you like? Yeah, absolutely. And how would you do that in Swedish then? Uh, vad tycker du om? Perfect. So, jag tycker om kaffe. Uh, you like coffee? Yes, you know me so well. I mean, I'm Swedish. <laughs> You're Swedish, I like yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, jag tycker om sol och värme. Well, I know what sol is, that's sun, so is that I like sun and being warm or something like that? Yeah, warmth. And it's, it's a Swedish expression, and I think that we don't have enough of it. And that's, so you more hear Swedish people complaining and go, jag tycker om sol och värme. <laughs> I like sunshine and, and warm weather. Okay, yeah. jag tycker om sol och värme. Um, jag tycker om hundar. I'm going to guess that that's, I like dogs. Yeah, how could you guess that? Uh, well, uh, hund, I know, is, is a dog and it sounds like a plural ending, hundar. Ah, well done. Um, jag tycker om god mat. Mm. Now, we know uh, tack för maten, which is thank you for the food. So, god mat, I like nice food. Yeah, so, so it could be tasty and nice. So, um, 
Nice food, absolutely. And the last one, because I know how much you like grammar and pronouns, mm-hmm. you have to get on D. Oh, right. So you're saying I like you. Yeah, ja, perfect. Jättebra. Okay. Now, th- this reminds me, Hannah, of a, a song that I, I remember from a oh, long, long time ago by Carola. Um, and she sang about Tommy. Tommy took it on me. Jättebra. Ah, you have the weirdest knowledge of Swedish music sometimes, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Men jag tycker om den låten. Ah, so you like the, uh, the, 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 the song? Yeah, låtsång, absolutely. So you said jag tycker om den låten. That song, is that like saying? Yes, exactly. Right, okay. So if, if, we've had tycker, um, but tycker om together, meaning to, to like doing something, or to, well, in this case, just to like something. Um, have I come across another word for like in the past? I don't know, maybe I'm getting mixed up with Norwegian or something. No, no, no. I, I think you probably have come across the word gillar. Yes, yes. I think maybe I've heard that on TV shows or something like that. Yeah, and it's it's often just a little bit less formal, maybe. We say gillar, and it, it's synonym. So it means exactly the same thing. And it's a bit easier to use, I guess, because it's one word. And we don't need a, an om there. No. So could I say, uh, jag gillar kaffe? Absolut. Okej, okay. uh, jag gillar sol och värme. Ja. Jag gillar, gillar uh, god mat. Precis. Okej, okay. uh, right, where are we going next? Så, so, um, you know how I said jag uh, tycker om dig? Ja. Yeah. I thought we would practice a bit of objective pronouns just to be... We, you can't just like me, Mark. Okay. We, we, have to, we have to talk about everybody else. So right. If so. I would say... Um, we have already said about Tommy tycker om mig. So Tommy likes me. Yes. Um, and if we talk about him, mm-hmm. we say honom. Honom. So jag tycker om honom. Jag tycker om honom. Hanna, if, if you were to say jag tycker om honom, does that mean you like him as in the same way Tommy likes Carola? As in that you, you like him in a kind of romantic way or something like that? Or does it is, is there no element of that in there? Um, no, I, I, think it, I, I think it can mean both, but it doesn't sound, it doesn't have to sound romantic. So it's just like he's a nice Look, you you met Tommy, and do to get on honom. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, but if someone says to you, "Yeah, to get on day," um, you might want to to think about what that means and the depth of that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that liking, as it were. Yeah, okay. precis. And I think we we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the bonus episode. Who say about oh, how right. you love somebody? All right. Okay. Okay. We'll come back to that later. Um, so you said uh, him is honom. What would her be? Henne. Henne. Right. So this is where we've got to be very careful because in English, him and her are, well, they are the, the object pronouns for the third person. So him, her. But her is also a possessive adjective in English. It means like her dog, her coffee, her tea or whatever. Um, but that's... In, in, in Swedish here, we're talking about object pronouns, yeah? Yeah, so that's not the case. And if we talk about the possessive ones, we say Hans or Hennes. Right. I think we'll leave them to yeah. the side for just now, yeah. <laughs> um, and if you remember, we have that third quite new pronoun, uh, which is gender neutral, mm-hmm. and that's hen, and that just stays the same. So, um, you have to get on hen. So hen being the gender neutral pronoun, I like them. And that's the, the singular them. Yeah. You see, Swedish is so much easier. You don't have a, a plural you and a plural <laughs> singular them. <laughs> um, and if we say, I don't know, can we say we, I, I, I like us? Uh, so the uh, jag tycker om oss. So we become us. Right, so ja tycker om oss, I like us, or perhaps could we say uh, dom tycker om oss, they like us. Yeah, and then we have the plural you. So if I would say that I like 
you as a plural. I would say, jag tycker om er. Er, okay. All right. I'm going to, I've got a question here, but I'll come, come, come back to it in a moment. Let's just do them as well. And I'm sorry, Mark, you're not going to like this. It's dom. Is that spelt D-O-M? Uh, no, it's not that easy, obviously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when we have it as a subject, you're um, going to recognize this, that we spell it D-E and we say dom. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's an object, we spell it D-E-M, still pronounce it dom. Right, okay, so we've got one word. <laughs> well, we've got two words. The word that's spelled D-E, mm-hmm. um, which means they, and that's the subject pronoun, but we pronounce that dom. As in dom tukerom os. Um, but now you're saying that we've got another word that's spelled D E M. Yep. That, that's still pronounced dom. Yep. And it's the object pronoun. So vi tukerom dom. Precis. You pronounce that perfectly. As long as you don't have to write it down, yeah. everything's going to be fine. <laughs> so we like them. Vi tukerom dom. Could we say vi yiller dom? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it, it works the same way. Okay, now, some of these words, um, may, de, os, and er, are the same as the words that we learned last time for the reflexive pronouns. Yes, well, <laughs> well remembered. But we've got ones that are different. So where we had say for himself or herself, or uh, we've now got henne for her, honom, uh, him, and hen, them, in the singular. Mm-hmm. And then we've got this strange one called Dom that doesn't look like what it sounds like. Okay, right. I, I just wanted to double check that, that these are the same kind of words, but they're just slightly different for certain persons here. Yes, I think, I think that's the easiest way of explaining that. Okay, let's run through them one more time. I'll say the English if you say the Swedish. Me. Me. You. De. Her. Henne. Him. Honom. And then the gender neutral them. Hen. Us. Os. You. Er. And them, plural. Dom. Excellent. So far, we've talked about what we like. How would we say um, what we don't like? Where does the in- inter go? Yeah, so we just add an inter. And if we have the question, we put, uh, we have, what do you do in the om? Right. So uh, th- this is interesting. The inter then is coming before the om. Yes. So it always needs to be before the om. And in the question, you have after the do. So uh, when I'm stating something, do I say, ja, tycker inte om, whatever it is? Ja, precis. Perfect. Can you give us some examples? Yeah, so this is my list of things that I don't like. Okay. Jag tycker inte om te. Ah, okay. Uh, jag tycker också inte om te. Bra, jättebra. Jag tycker inte också om te. So you don't like tea? Ja, precis. Um, jag tycker inte om snö och kyla. Uh, right, so um, you don't like snow and something else. Is it the opposite of verme? Yes, please. <laughs> so kind of chilliness is shula. Shula, okay. So we've got shula. And then what was the other one for warmth? Verme. Verme, okay. So jag tycker inte om snö och kyla. Okay. Um, jag tycker inte om katter. You don't like cats? Ja, precis. Jag tycker om hundar. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you're a dog person, not a cat person. Yeah. Um, what else? Jag tycker inte om stark mat. Um, we've seen stark before. Is it strong? Ja, and when we say stark mat, we mean spicy food. Ah, right, okay. So, uh, jag tycker inte om stark, stark mat. Ja, perfekt. Okay. And the last one, um, jag tycker inte om dem. You, you don't like them? 
Yeah, I thought but the opposite of jag tycker om dig. So, uh, okay. <laughs> and just because you like dom, we need to practice dom. What yeah, that means. Fair, fair enough. Okay, so each time here we're saying jag tycker inte om and then the thing. Can we put into somewhere else? Could I say, for example, jag tycker om stark mat inte? Nej, and most of my students want to do that because, you know, in English you can just put a not in the back yeah. and it doesn't work like that. It's just sound odd. So, no, don't do that. Jag tycker inte om stark mat. Ja, perfekt. Okay, I think what we'll do is take a short break. I need a refill for my coffee uh, because jag tycker uh, om kaffe. Perfect. So I need a refill. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment with the, the second half of this episode. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Welcome back. We are talking about what we like and what we don't like today in uh, this episode of Coffee Break Swedish. So far we've learned uh, ja tycker om and uh, ja tycker inte om. Um, but all we've talked about so far, Hanna, are, are things. Yes, I thought we would uh, get make it a little bit more difficult and talk about activities instead. So what, what, what do you like uh, as hobbies, I guess, and what, what do you like to do in your spare time? So um, the question here is, vad tycker du om att göra på fritiden? Right, let's break that question down. So we've got, vad tycker du om? What do you like? And then can you give us the next part? Att göra på fritiden. So, att göra is to do, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, på fritiden, in your free time? Yeah, precis. Okay, vad tycker du om att göra på fritiden? Ja, bra. So, vad tycker du om att göra på fritiden? Ja, bra. Okay, I'll ask you the question then, Hanna. Uh, <laughs> vad tycker du om att göra på fritiden, Hanna? Ja, jag tycker om att läsa. Ah, okej. Okay. Um, could I say jag också? Ja, absolut. Now, just to be clear here. In English, we would say me too. Um, but in Swedish, can you say mig också? No, that sounds completely wrong. So just st stick with jag. Jag också. I must have seen that somewhere um, on, a, on a TV show or something like that. So, jag också. I also like to read. Bra. Um, jag tycker om att titta på film. I think we've seen uh, att titta before. Is it to, to look? To watch? Ja, bra. Jättebra. What, what was the, the context that we saw that before? Jag bara uh, tittar. Oh yeah, when you're shopping and you're you're just having a look. Yeah, well done right. for remembering. That was a long time ago. Okay, so jag tycker om att titta på film. I like to watch films. Ja, precis. Okay. Um, jag tycker om att resa. Ah, uh, this must mean I like to travel. Ja, jättebra. Okay. And the last one. Jag tycker om att träffa vänner. Uh, I like to meet friends. Ja, bra. So you can see the most important thing here is compared to earlier. One is that we need to have at all the time. And also that the second verb, we're always going to have two verbs in an answer when we say that we like to do something, just like in English. So the second verb always have to be an infinitive. Okay, yep. So we've got the infinitive form there at the end, the one that normally ends in an e. Uh, att läsa, att titta, att resa, att träffa. Ja. And we need to remember the, the at too. Okay. Um, 
taking this a stage further then, what do you not like to do? Yes, so if you look at that uh, question that we had before, what do you do om att göra? What do you like to do? Where mm-hmm. do you think you put the inte, Mark? Um, well, earlier we said, jag tycker inte om uh, katter or whatever. So would you say, vad tycker du inte om att göra? Ja, perfekt. Vad tycker du inte om att göra? Right. Okay. So, uh, let's try some things here. Um, I'll, I'll I'll try to say some things. Um, jag tycker inte om uh, att, I don't know, att uh, titta på, uh, how do you say football? I don't really like watching football. Football. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okej, okay. um, jag tycker inte om att titta på fotboll. Ja, perfekt. Jättebra. Um, what else might I... Oh, what do you not like to do? Vad tycker du inte om att göra? Jag tycker inte om att dansa. Ah, okej. Okay. If I wanted to say I do like... No, actually in this one I'll stick with jag... Can I say ja också inte? Nej. Okej. Okay. Jag tycker inte. This is the thing, like in Swedish you often say heller. Jag tycker inte heller om. Okej, okay, so if you don't like to dance, jag tycker inte om att dansa. How would I say uh, me neither, me neither? Okej, okay, så so, inte jag heller. Inte jag heller. That sounds strange. Yeah, I, this is the only way we use heller. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking, Mark. We must not. We're not the most fun people, are we? We, we like to read, <laughs> but not to dance. <laughs> well, it, it depends. I mean, I have to say, if, if there's an ABBA song on, then I, I actually do quite like to, to dance. Yeah, <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> okay, tell us something else that you don't like doing. Jag tycker inte om att åka skidor. Right, I've read about this. Um, this means to ski, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And we don't actually have a verb for to ski, which uh, my students often find very odd. Giving the, the Norwegian invention its place, obviously. <laughs> so um, you you kind of go skiing in a sense at Åka Skidor. Ja, precis. Right. So in this case, I I want to to disagree with you because I do like skiing. So how would how would I say? Ah, oh, I do like skiing. Is there a way in, in, in of, of saying that in Swedish? I would say, jag tycker om åka skidor. Right. So just using stress. Yes. So jag tycker om att åka skidor. Ja, perfect. Right. Okay. Anything else? I thought. Um, you know, last lesson we practice our adjectives. So I, mm-hmm. I thought we would throw in an adjective there. And if I say, jag tycker inte om att titta på läskiga filmer. Uh, right, so you're saying that you don't like watching some kind of films. What does uh, läskiga mean? Scary. Ah, right. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and I want to say me too, so I think I say uh, inte jag heller. Ja, bra. Or me neither. <laughs> I, I don't know, that's getting tricky, that's getting tricky. <laughs> okay, so in this lesson we've looked at lots of different ways to say what you like doing in this, uh, using the infinitive, so a uh, tita, dansat, okahidor, and, and so on. What we don't like doing, using ja tycker inte om, and these words, but also more simply, what we like, whether it's chocolate or... Well, actually, we didn't do chocolate, but I think we know that. Ja, tycker om choklad. Ja, absolut. Choklad, and very good pronunciation. <laughs> Tack så mycket. Um, we hope that you've found this useful and you can let us know what you like doing and what you like and what you don't like, obviously, too.
Now, if you're using the premium version of the Coffee Break Swedish course, then you can also use the video version to catch up on what we've covered in this lesson with the, the words on the screen and our lesson notes, which will give you further examples of things that you can like and, and not like doing and, and so on. We also have our bonus episode, and we're going to be going on to talk about that right now. Uh, so you will be able to listen to that too, and you can talk about what you love and what you... well don't love. All of that can be found at coffeebreakacademy.com. And you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Coffee Break Swedish and we post regular content to help you build your culture knowledge of all things Swedish. And I think, if I'm not mistaken this week, we will be asking you about what you like and what you don't like and giving you some further examples to, to practice there. So make sure you check us out on Facebook. Just search, as Hannah said, for Coffee Break Swedish. That's it for this lesson. Tack så mycket. Varsågod. Och hej då. Hej då. You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2021 Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>